Yeah, just sitting here talking with my man Ted Dunbar. I just finished the session. Yeah, everything sounds great, man. Glad I really to, enjoyed it, man. Yeah, glad to, you know you could be a part of this, man. And, uh, I was telling the guys in the um, we started recording. I grew up in the same hometown, and uh, um, my parents live a couple of blocks from your your mother. And everybody's always talking about you, uh, Miss McNeil at uh, Lincoln High School. You know, right oh yeah. And uh, I was glad to, I was able to meet you as a kid, mm -hmm. which uh, helped shape my. Um, musical career and things I want to play and the sound I want to have. Mm -hmm. And I know you've done like a million things, man. It's amazing, you know, I think about your career. And, um, even before you left Texas, like for out there, uh, you were telling me something about the uh, West Side Auditorium, I think it's like. Oh yeah, the, all of the uh, great rhythm and blues groups came through there. And many of the jazz players who were playing in the band, like Coltrane. Wow. Many, many excellent uh, stars, you know. So they were just like, in the early part of their career too, just like traveling around doing Oh yeah, oh yeah, that they, uh, every weekend there's a different group coming in, Rhythm and Blues show, you know? uh -huh. and they were excellent, Wow. doing a lot of one-nighters and stuff, yeah. yeah. Wow. And I know you, um, after leaving Texas, you went out to, uh, was it Indiana? Yeah, I went to uh, Indiana, and, uh, I had met West Montgomery in 57 when I was in Texas Southern. Wow. And I heard him in the uh, Ebony Missile Room there. And it uh, it was such an incredible experience till I moved there. Wow. Around uh, right at the end of the uh, 59 and 50s, yeah. 60, right at that time. Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah, I just, you know, you think about West Montgomery, man, I, I never, you know, just hearing you talk about him, you know, and through his music, you could almost feel him, like, you know, I, he was about the way he lived and stuff, you know. He's a very uh, warm, funny person, uh, always cheerful. Uh, he just enjoyed playing. He played like it was so easy for him, you know. He and his brothers, you know, yeah. Yeah, they were really incredible people. Yeah. I know Wes had a, um, an amazing amount of respect for you as a guitarist, you know, and, um, you know, he's, he, he, would always say, hey, what's that you're playing in your head, <laughs> you know? Yeah, well, I was hanging out around David Baker at that time, yeah. and David had exposed me to the Lydian concept and so many different approaches to playing. Wow. Uh, he, that was like another light uh -huh. in my life, uh, and being around both people, it just opened me up, Yeah. you know? Wow. It's amazing, yeah. And um, then the great Tony Williams, y'all had this amazing group, you know. Was, yeah, that group, uh, the Sextet, I think it was, with uh, Warren Smith and, and uh, say Joe Chambers at one time, and Don Elias, wow. Junie Booth, oh, Larry Young. Woo. Yeah, it was... Uh, and the Cats, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, it was really an exciting period. Very wow. exciting, man. Yeah. Yeah. It must have been, like, real spiritual to the music and stuff. Yeah. Uh, Larry... Was, had such a very deep yeah. personality, Larry Young, and yeah. uh, I mean Tony had just left Miles Davis's group. Wow! And man, his I mean his playing was just phenomenal. Wow! A uh, lot of technique, but the creativity on top of that. You oh, know? that's amazing! Yeah, that's amazing. yeah. And the music was really very different. Yeah, 1971. You know? Yeah, I know. Like being from Texas too, the blues has probably had a lot of influence on you. You know, your life and your Def definitely. I love the blues. I, I had a chance to play around T-Bone and T-Bone Walker, Gate Mark Brown, Low Fulson. I mean, you name all the blues guitar players, I was wow. just right there because yeah. uh, that's right on top with, with me. Yeah. Well, it's great because you got the whole thing, you know, the whole blues, the feeling and the jazz, the harmonic and melodic stuff, which is, you know, so amazing about your playing and stuff. And I know people like John Coltrane, you know, were a big influence and, you know, talking about uh, Thelonious Monk and you know how much you love his music. Oh yeah, uh, it's like one unbroken line, you know, the whole black experience. I mean, it was the gospel music. And not only that, you know, at home I used to listen a lot to the bluegrass guys uh -huh. at noon when I went to lunch from, in high school. Wow. And those guys were picking everything, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I had a very high respect for, for that yeah. idiom too. Yeah. Yeah, and I know you've been a major influence as far as teaching, you know, a lot of younger musicians, and uh, which is which is great because I think that's um, something that in schools they were trying to get. You know, people always said, "Hey, we 
jazz is out there in the clubs, you know, but you, you, you yourself and a lot of other people have actually brought it into the classroom, um, you know, put it in a way where younger musicians and artists can, can absorb some of that stuff. Yeah. That's not happening these days. Yeah, well, the main thing is just uh, the realization that, uh, that life was here when we get here, so you try to go backwards <laughs> right. and come back and go forward, yeah. you know? Yeah. And, uh, but I was very fortunate being born in the 30s. Where I could see the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. It's like an unbroken thing. And it's a tremendous appreciation for everything you hear. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's great. Hey, well, listen, Ted, man. Thanks again for, you know, being down on this project. And, um, you know, I'm, I've always been a huge fan of, you know, of music. Yeah. And thank you for helping shape my career. It's, I'm very thankful that you had me on this. And I really appreciate it very much. And uh, keep the music going like you're doing, and, and your own openness and what have you. Because yeah. it's about the younger musicians carrying things forward, you know. Thank you. Great, thank you. Oh, yeah, y'all, we're going to sign off now. That's, you know, Zachary Bro and Ted Dunbar just sitting there kicking it, talking about jazz and good old days, and I guess the good days that are ahead of us. And uh, peace, take care. <laughs>